What's up, bitch? It's QCP. I'm on the Growing Up Italian podcast here today, and uh, let's get after it. What's up, guys? It's the Grown Up Italian Podcast. I'm here with my cousin Rocco. Yo. And we have a very special guest. QCP. QCP. All right. First thing. What's your real name? <laughs> what the hell is a quarter pounder with cheese? Or... <laughs> you know, a lot of people actually was were at McDonald's taking pictures of that shit and sending it to me. And really? Saying, and saying, bro, you got a fucking, you got a burger. So cool. I was like, no, read it. <laughs> um, no, my name is John Luca, John, John Luca Conte. And um, QCP, some random shit. I grew up. I grew up uh, with the nickname Puka, and and for some Puka. reason Puka, Puka, oh, I was Puka, say. bro. There was like a like a little a little book in elementary school about like a donkey that cleans up the house in the middle of the night. And, and his it, name was Puka, and it was a Puka or something Is like that. Is that Italian or no, it, maybe, bro? Oh. Maybe it's kind of like something I don't know. All right. But but uh, one of my boys, I was a I, I did I was like a rapper in high school. I was like the rapper, the SoundCloud rapper in high school, and wow. and randomly I, at first my first name was Schoolboy P, like Schoolboy Q. Oh my yeah, god! Yeah. So was random. Schoolboy Q out already or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so you co- it was like yeah, it was like it. I copied it. And I was like I can't do this. One of my boys randomly was just like QCP, and I was like I don't know, I kind of like the ring to it, so I kept it. But now I lie to everybody because I don't want to give this whole spiel when somebody comes up and asks me. So I just tell them I'm the Queen City Prince, and then they're like, okay, weird, but all right. So that's that. But um, John Luca, John Luca Conti, you know. Did you Conte. ever think about changing your social media names to John Luca? Because I feel. Not a lot of people that are well known have that name. No, yeah, it's, no, it sticks out. bro. You know, honestly, no. Probably because I grew up with like almost an insecurity of my name in elementary school, middle school, bro. I, it's so crazy how things come full circle. I remember kids on the bus in middle school, or at least one kid in specific, being like, being like, you know, being like, you fucking meatball, like, yeah, you, yeah. like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> nobody knows how to say your name. <laughs> like your name is super Italian, right? Bro. Like Gianluca, like G I A N L U C A. Nobody can pronounce it. The teachers never said it right. I was always scared to like correct myself, like growing up. But then, like full circle, I got girls like that's the that's the coolest name I've ever heard. You know <laughs> what I mean? My hero. Yeah, and like so now, but I, I never, I never actually really thought about it. Maybe at like the lowest point of my life, I was like, what am I doing? But like, no, I I, I figured to myself, you know. As time comes, as this grows, people will, you know, at first it was always the pasta guy, pasta guy. Now it's almost like 50-50, pasta guy, bitch guy, QCP. Because I'm yeah. like, they'll they'll figure it out. Yeah, they'll yeah. have to get it across. So Ooh. I just, I stuck away that I like to separate the social media from the personal, yeah. you know. Well, where'd you grow up? I grew up in Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, my, my father lives there right now. I've got a little baby sister. I've got a, my, one of my older sisters there. Um, and my dad's got Italian restaurants in Charlotte, but I got my mom and my sister, one of my other sisters out here. I flew my, not, not out here. We're in New York in LA where I live. Um, I, I got them to come live out there with me and, uh, live in my old town home. I moved. What are the names house. of your dad's restaurants? We've got, he had, he's had a bunch, but right now we've got, uh, we've got like, they're all fine dining. We've got Luce, which is in downtown Charlotte. So if you guys, please, if you're ever going through Charlotte, you got to go by. Even you guys, you let me know. For sure. Uh, for send sure, me bro. a message. But uh, we got Luce, fine dining, a beautiful restaurant downtown. Uh, Toscana is another fine dining. We had Drake there. We had a bunch of, bunch of celebrities pass through. Uh, Mezzanote is our pizzeria, a little more fast casual, but still beautiful restaurant. Amazing. Napolitano pizza. And we've got Via Roma was our was our newest one, and um, another fine dining restaurant. It's the best in Charlotte. Sounds like we gotta go check it out. Yeah, bro. No, literally, bro. If you guys ever awesome. have like a connection, there's something through Charlotte, and you got a couple hours, bro. You go downtown, you let me know. How is Charlotte? There's like a they have a nice little Italian group out there, or I'm not even sure, honestly. Like probably a little bit, but not not enough to know. I didn't grow up. I mean, I, I grew up in Catholic school, K through twelve. Like right. not a lot of Italian kids in my in my vicinity. Gotcha. Uh, one of my one of my buddies. That was Italian, like kind of. Yeah, I guess he's Italian, maybe like grandparents. Uh, but he he had he had restaurants too, so he was like my little restaurant buddy. Both of our dads had restaurants, but not a lot of Italians for me. But you know? your dad was born in Ischia. My dad was born in Ischia, um, off the coast of Naples. He was actually born in Germany, but like for like two months or some shit. I don't know why. I don't even know how that happened. That I talked to some kid recently. He says like. 
yeah, for some reason, my dad was born in Germany too. Like, really? fuck, my grand, my grandpa actually lives in Germany. Like, he for some reason, I don't know why. A lot of you know, Italians. Yeah, he there. moved to he yeah. moved to Germany, but my dad he's from he's from Ischia. He's born and raised. I mean, raised in Ischia, maybe from six months to 18, 19 years old. The, re- the reason why I say Ischia is because I remember summertime you were there. Yeah, and you yeah. were like doing all these videos, of videos on the beach there. and stuff. So, bro, it's I think like your family was from there. This right, guy's yeah. in the restaurants cooking it up. I'm like, yeah, no, bro. Now it's the royalty it, treatment. It's over like there. A, it's like you you go yeah literally like royalty <laughs> there. It's amazing how going back there and and uh, I grew up going there every year. We go for a month and um, had a nice hiatus of five six years. Hadn't gone. Went back and now I've gone twice this year. I'm like I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start going as much as I can. My father's house that that he grew up in is there on the island. Small, cute little home. I'm gonna actually put money in, renovate the kitchen, oh, go there. Dope, I want to. Yeah. I want to stay there for six months. Get my Italian perfect. You know, actually like embrace my culture. Because one thing I disconnected from myself in my whole life was my culture. Like my, you know, Italian. The Italian industry, bro, will consume you. Like my dad. Like he's like we're super close. Like he's he's my boy. Like he's my homie. But like. You know, bro, you, you didn't teach me Italian growing up. You know, yeah. I'm like, you know what? But fuck it. I'm like, this is something that I'm coming full circle to do myself, mm-hmm. you know, to, to, to make it. Now a lot of people do that, like circle back. No, to bro. And like, it feels so really good. Like, it feels really good to be like learning Italian. I'm actively learning Italian to be going, embracing the culture, seeing my family. I've got my, 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 my known is not alive, but her sisters are, are on, in Ischia. Mm-hmm. Uh, like just going there, eating the fucking rabbit and, and, and just like the pasta and everything. It's just, it's on. You know, it's unmatched. Oh, that's like a forgotten island, though. East For real, because bro. everybody wants Sorrento and Capri. Everybody goes there. everywhere but there. Thank the Lord. Yeah, you if you're li- watching, they like if that you're part, watching right? this, Ischia sucks. <laughs> Don't go. The prices aren't cheap. <laughs> you know, if I'm not mistaken, there's actually another um, chef that I got to connect you to. Christian Petroni, you ever heard of him? I don't think so. On he's on the Food Network. He's, his family's oh, yeah? from Ischia, too. Oh, really? Yeah. Fuck yeah. So, uh, yeah, he uh, he's all tattooed up. you I'll yeah. show you some of his stuff. Please, please. Cute. I keep looking at you, bro, and you just resemble, like, if Luca from the animated movie was <laughs> real, that would 100% be you, bro. Bro, I appreciate that. When I, you, <laughs> you know what's actually crazy? One day, uh, I went to the gym, and uh, I take, you know, I, I, I usually will, like, microdose a little bit of mushrooms before before my day. <laughs> I don't. Just, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> just, to, just to keep the brain flowing, just a little bit, nothing crazy. But I actually took a little too much one day and was feeling a little wavy. And I was on the way home from the gym. I look at this bus next to me, and there's a giant Luca ad. And I had never seen it before. It was, like, a brand new thing. And I was like, who the fuck is that guy? You know what I mean? I was like, that's a little animated, animated version of me. And it says, Luca, I called my sister and I was going through like a time of like, you know, a revamp in life where I was like, things were starting to work really well for me. And like shit was going up. I called my sister. I was like, Oh my God, I sent a picture to her. I was like, look at this. And she's like, that's so crazy. That's you. Like blah, blah, blah. And then I finally (laughs) watched it. They stole it from TikTok. Like they stole the time. (laughs) Yeah. Bro, no, and it, it was crazy watching the movie too. It felt it was you know the the, the movie's based off the Amalfi Coast or off the Amalfi Coast, and like uh, it's it's based off of like Positano, right? No, it's or near it's, it. Uh, um, it's up in the north on the oh shit Centro some, something like that. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I forget the name. No, you're, I, I forget. You're, you're I'm gonna look it up in a second. But when I watched the movie the first time, bro, I was living I was living Porto in my Fino. town home. Portofino. Porto Fino. Yeah, that's yeah, what I meant. Yeah. There I fucking downed a whole big bottle of wine, watched the movie by myself, bro. I was living with my my ex girlfriend, like I had broken up with her, and we were living together for a month until she moved out. That sounds I was miserable. Horrible, bro. bro so I was I was bag. so depressed, bro. Gambling all my money, like nice. like, like, just, like right there. the videos are sucking, bro. I'm like, it, it was a mess. But that was a beautiful night. We all been through Luca. some moments like that. Oh yeah. Bro, but like, but they were a touching moment. Good movie, yeah. amazing movie, bro. I need to rewatch it. It's like, it's like my Ratatouille, you know? It's like. <laughs> yeah, my, kid, my kids love Luca too. Like, that's. Yeah, that's a good movie. So I, for the younger kids, Luca is like their Ratatouille, like you just said. Yeah. yeah, we growing yeah. Up, we, it was like a newer Disney movie. 100%. And I love, I don't even, uh, you know, side note, but I love how, how uh, Disney's doing like Encanto, all these different cultures. Yeah, and, yeah, it's great. Know, and, uh, and keeping these kids like in touch with, with their culture, but through an animated way. Yeah, but, that's great. Now, tell us all about how, you know, the TikTok began, bro. Like, one shit, day you just decided to say betch, or like, what happened? Yeah, bro. I mean, I, I, I was. I was the I was always the entertainer in school. You know, I was the rapper, bro. I was making music. I, I want to hear him spit like a sixteen. Bro, you have any part. bars left? Like, can we throw him on the a potty? Bit. I mean, bro, we got the you know you got to get warmed up a little bit. But <laughs> I can play you guys. QCP. I can play I you guys some shit, e. bro. If I play, I could you know you could throw something on YouTube. But um, but I I was the music guy. I was QCP in high school, and um, I knew I I knew I was the entertainer. So I was working at my dad's restaurants. I stopped going to college. 
I said, like, you know, I convinced my parents. I was like, you know what? If I can entertain people in in elementary school, middle school, high school, college, I think it's going to work everywhere else. You know what I mean? I was like, I don't got to have anybody tell me otherwise. So I was, I, I, I was in community college, started making TikToks. Day two, I had 50K on TikTok in 2019. I was like, come on. Like, I got something You were on it early, it. right? Bro, I was, at, I was working at my dad's restaurant. I was running around the whole fucking restaurant going, it's over. I was like, it's over. You guys are screwed. Like, I'm out of here. It's <laughs> nice knowing you guys. Next Christmas, you're all getting a thousand bucks. Like, like crazy. And uh, I knew from that night, I was like, I got a foundation. I'm gonna make it work. So like six, seven months in, uh, it's almost 2020. I was making a bunch of videos. I had around like six, 700K on TikTok, making random funny videos, spontaneous skits, like crazy shit. And then uh, I made a cooking video called If the Jersey Shore Had a Cooking Show. And I just made a little uh, penne pomodoro and it was just bullshit. A little, like it didn't look good. doesn't matter. It was about the video. It was the entertainment. It did really well, a couple million views, and then that's fucking awesome. I figured I was like, I need to do this again. So then I started doing it, and it was trending at the time where people would be like, like uh, something like anger, anger level one. So like them kind of angry in the first video, yeah, yeah, then yeah. a little more in the second. Mm. So I kind of did that where I was like the oh, angry New Jersey yeah, cooking yeah. show episode one. Then episode two, I started getting a little more angry. Episode two, I made chicken fettuccine Alfredo. And funny enough, I, I would I would look up the recipe. Every cooking video I made until now, I would look up the recipe and be making it for the first time ever. That's in so that funny. video, I was in that say, day. Because in your, in your content, I could tell you're not like a professional. No, no. You like spit wine in the... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bro, I mean, I, like even to this day, like as I, I, I can make the dishes really well now, but yeah. I'm still going to fuck around. But back then, bro, it was like... I, sometimes I'd be at the end of the video and I'd be like, oh my God, like I'd take a bite of it and be like, holy fuck. Like that shit's not good. Like, like my dad's like soak the clams, like you know, this and that. Scrub the like, do this and that. And I'm like, Dad, I don't care. It's not about that. It's about the being funny. And then like, you know, but, but um, I I went. I just I realized after after this chicken fettuccine Alfredo video went just mad viral, thirty million views, five million likes, uh, blew up everywhere. Wow. And and from there, uh, you know, I was like, I gotta do this. I I jumped. I jumped from in. I jumped from seven seven hundred thousand to like 1.6 mil from that one video. Yeah, it's been In one That's day. That's what happens. Uh, and then, you know, every time I made a cooking video, that. bro, yeah. it, it kept going. I couldn't, could not get one under a million views. And I was like, fuck, you know, six months. I, I was in denial because I was like, I'm not a chef. I'm not like a, I'm not like a comic. Like, this isn't me. But then I was like, why not make this me? Yep. And then I just stuck to it. I kept going and... Here we are, but actually, like you know, maybe a year after that, in 2021, I, I had uh, I, I moved I moved to LA with a bunch of people. Like I lived in this house. We all had the same management. I moved out of there with one of my roommates at the time that we were cool, and we were like, let's get the fuck out of here and get our own place. We got an apartment. He ended up moving out, and it was when he moved out that I realized like I need to be alone when I make my videos, and like I started going crazy. It's funny, Kush says the same thing. By yeah, the way. bro. Yeah. Yeah, no, I can tell Kush. Kush gets a little nervous, you yeah. know. Um, but well, I because Kush's parents say that he kicks them out of the house. Like, right, right. I'm no, but that's man. that's exactly what I would have to do when I was living with my mom and sister, and I was like, you know, they'd be in the living room, and I'm like, can you guys like go upstairs? Yeah. Like, I just I need to be alone. So when, once I was finally alone in that apartment, I started going fucking crazy. So you going bananas? It's like weird to do it in front of your parents. One hundred percent. So like, I, I had this yeah, whole I had this you. apartment to myself. That was when my video started really blowing up. I'm getting 10 mil, 15, 20, and like Gordon Ramsay duetted two of my videos back then. And like, was he making fun of you? Like, yeah, bro, I didn't know how to cook for shit. What, like, what videos did he do? Uh, he, I, I made this one video, bro. This shit was funny. I watched it the other day. I, I, I was doing a, I was doing a teeth whitening promo in wow. the middle of one of my cooking videos. I ended up getting like 20 million views. Gordon oh, Ramsay duetted that, and he's like. What is he doing <laughs> in the middle of the video? I'm promoting a fucking teeth whitening company. It's like this that's probably the best thing to happen at a teeth. Bro, there's there was a video of KSI reacting to Gordon Ramsay reacting, reacting to, to me, <laughs> and like it was crazy. But um, but back then I don't know what happened. One day I just said bitch, 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 bitch. It was a kind of more like towards the bitch. I said it so many times in one video randomly, and the video did really well. The top comment was CEO of bitch, and then it, I, bro, all of a sudden. Boom. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I made the S Corp. It's my company now. I sell the merch. It's like the patented betch. And like, uh, you know, we got, I got so much shit coming now from that. I got a cookbook coming. Um, Amazing. That, I'm excited for that. Working hard on that. So, for, you know, it's, it's going to be. I have two questions and one question. Yeah, go ahead. If someone recognizes you in person. Yeah. 
Is it QCP or is it bitch? Or what, what, are you, what is it? Bro, it's predominantly just pasta, bitch. <laughs> pasta, That's bitch. That's such an LA thing, bro. Yeah, just bitch. Uh, one time I was at a party in LA and this guy goes, Will, you remember this? He goes, it's the ravioli guy. And then I looked at him and I go, bro, I've never even made ravioli. What the fuck are you talking about? And like, I got bad, bro. I'm drunk like at a party. Pasta he thought I, I'm mad drunk. I'm like, all oh, the fake motherfuckers. You're going to say ravioli guy. I get some crazy ones. But like mostly the pasta guy, the pasta guy is the number one or the betch guy. Oh, it's the betch guy. Can mm-hmm. you say betch? Secondly, then, the, I know 100% the answer says, but I just want to hear you say it. But when a girl like hits you over something, like when are you cooking for me? Is that the first thing they say? How do you respond to a girl that'll say that? Like, when are you cooking for me? Bro, at this point, That like, must be their opener thing, yeah. honestly. It is, That's bro. honestly Every a good opener, time. though. It is. It is. When are you cooking for me? But, like, I'm like, you gotta be so beautiful for me to be like, <laughs> yeah. Like, I got you tomorrow. Dang, so every girl that he curved now knows that she's like... Because I get, girl, I get like, fat buffaloes that say, when are you making me a sandwich? So I can just imagine you, like... What are you making me a sandwich? No, bro, it's it's, it's true. And oh. you know you know you know what actually what I do? And when people say that to me in public, and again, if you're watching this and I said this to you, it's because I don't want to cook for you. Uh, <laughs> it's it's um oh I'm gonna open a restaurant soon. Oh <laughs> perfect, perfect. Yeah, yeah, I go, oh the restaurant's open. I'm gonna open a restaurant oh, soon. Okay, spend some money. Yeah. <laughs> bro, no, ironically, I'm actually I'm 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 doing a pop-up restaurant in, in LA. Nice. Big fire. Um bro. this guy comes up to me in the middle of my gym, he goes, I've got this. I've got this empty space. I got a kitchen next to my Middle Eastern restaurant, and he goes. Uh, he kind of sent. He he didn't understand like Aki. He didn't understand like like the Aki way. Yeah, he doesn't mm. understand what the Aki way is, bro. It's put a bunch of shit on a sandwich. Yeah, so, Aki way is a way of life. One hundred percent. So like <laughs> this this guy comes up to me and he's like, if this guy Aki's doing fucking five hundred people lined up in L A. Yeah, he killed it out there, right? He did. He did. And like and he was like, then we're gonna do fucking five thousand. He's like, so. We go, I go over to his place, I checked it out, we're, we're, we're getting it all set up, but I'm doing a pop-up, so I'm excited to do Fire, a sort of mini restaurant, fly out my dad, do yeah. the bandage. That's, and that's awesome, bro. Um, is it so going to cool. be called, or can we like, yeah. uh, tease the name? I mean, we're, getting, we're getting leaks For the right pop-up? Now. Oh, I mean, bro, I'm for that. Pasta bitch. For that, it's just it's just gonna be it's just a little pop up, so it's gonna be just purely brand. I'm selling merch. It's just gonna be these, bro, this massive betch logo just oh, across fine, the top, yeah. just my normal betch logo. That's very LA. Like, imagine this pasta. Like, but the thing is, is bitch. like it's really not. So like, bitch when you Boulevard. see it, it's gonna look so, it's gonna look so funny because it's like you. There's nothing really like that in LA. So it's gonna be this. There's this two massive windows and a giant thing over a big banner that says "Betch," a big menu or like a picture of me, a picture of me, and like a menu on top of the door. But it's gonna be like uh, sell merch, sell so like no three pot, no, no, yeah, three different pastas. Oh, cool, cool. Um, yeah, you gotta kill it, bro. But, but I'm gonna do that probably sometime in January. But I'm really excited for that. It's gonna be cool. Sort of a mini first experience with the restaurant, make people happy. I'm I've got the hospitality in my blood, bro. Like my dad's got the restaurants. They're, they're he's one of the most successful, bro. I'm talking four point eight out of five open table on five thousand reviews. Oh wow! I'm talking like, bro, people. That's really good. You don't yeah, get that bro, like, faking it, bro. Like if, if anything goes wrong, like. It's like, bro, it's that one in a million chance, yeah. you know? So incredible, incredible restaurant uh, history. So I'm really excited for that. Definitely want to work on a restaurant in the future, too. I feel like you're super humble for an L.A. kid. I don't, are you sure that you live there? <laughs> <laughs> bro, the thing is, is like I bear, you know, I always separated myself. Until now, I just moved in with my roommates, uh, Bryce and Aaron. Yeah. And, um, and we're enjoying that. We all are kind of like, fuck this. Like, why'd we all move in? To, but like, we love each other and like, we have a good time. But like, it's sort of like, we all need to be, we know, we, we learned that like, this is our final stretch till we move on to the real world. Right. But I, I lived in, uh, in Calabasas, which is 30, 40 minutes outside of LA for the last year before I moved into this house, which is like, where it really took me to the next level yeah, yeah. where yeah. I was alone. I was away from the madness. I'm not partying. If I do go party and if I do come home with somebody, it's like, it's, it's somebody, right. You know what I mean? Right. Or it's like, it's like for a good reason if I'm going into the city. So yeah. I really always separated myself from everybody and never got caught up in the bullshit truly. And like, uh, but I, I know I, I matured at a young age. So I feel like I, I always, I, I knew that I could do it way before I did it. And like really committed myself. I didn't know how bro. TikTok wasn't even there yet. And one of my buddies who's a big photographer here in New York, um, we, we had a crazy, crazy way that we met. He ended up being a big part of my life and how I got here. We, uh, and this is super quick, but it's funny. We, we both were at the gym in Charlotte. We walked out, we unlocked each other's cars, went to the wrong car. We had the same car. Oh my and, God. And we both had to drive it home. Yeah. We were leaving the gym. Oh like we were God. leaving the gym. We both, we both were, we both unlocked the wrong car. It's like a movie shit. We right walked there. up to each other. We both had the same parking pass for our college four hours away. 
So we went to the awesome. same college. We were both That's visiting crazy. home. So then we ended up talking in college. He's a photographer. He kind of got me into modeling too because he was like, you know, uh, he was he was starting his photography. But now he's popping off. He just did something. He's doing something with Converse right now. He's he's shooting the biggest models in New York. But he told me you got to get on TikTok right in the beginning. I got on TikTok day two, uh, bro. This is fucking. This is fucked up. But the, I I made a video saying. Um, uh, Next, I was selling fucking like weed weed carts. <laughs> on TikTok? I was selling weed carts, not on TikTok, but <laughs> in, in person. I was selling my little weed pens and everything, and I was I had cash. Two for was, thirty, two for thirty. <laughs> bro, I was a good, I was a salesman, bro. Trust me. I would How be like, I'd be like, come to the house, take a hit. If you're not afraid to drive home, you get your money back. Like literally, like. <laughs> So uh, I had some cash. I made a video. I was like, the next thousand people that like this and follow me and to, to a chance to win $1,000 cash. I milked 50,000 followers the second day on the app. Bro, oh, and from there, yeah. from there, bro, I just I started running. Did but, you um, actually give the money to somebody? No, no. <laughs> but you can't do that, hey, bro. Anybody that's paying attention to this, whenever someone always says, like, comment for a follow back or anything it's like that, it's all bullshit, bro. It's all bullshit. Uh, but, but that... Uh, I don't remember what the fuck my point was. Ming, oh. there he is. There he is. Oh, here's Little Mo. All right, all right, Little Mo, take a seat here. <laughs> what do you want to do? All right. So Little Mo um, crashed over here. How you doing? I'll give him a shout because he set up this uh, whole situation. Bro, always today. respect to Mo. Thank you, brother. This is uh, this is your car. This is my car mine right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the guy. He's the guy. He knows everybody. I'm the guy. He in got New York. a guy. He can make anything happen. That's right. He can make anything happen. Literally, it's actually scary to be honest <laughs> with you. <laughs> I'm a relationship guy, you know? You look sharp today, Mo. Nah, this I just put together, you it know? looks like you got your button or something. Nah, take it easy. Where are you going after this? I gotta go to, I'm gonna go see a friend of mine perform in the city. Uh, you know, same thing, relationship building, you know, I wanna show him some love, he's a good guy. There you go. And that's it, take the wife out, how you done? Sunny outside today? Or huh? Is sunny outside today? No, I waited glaze guy, I look shot. Oh, okay, a little shot. I got big bags under my eyes. How do they ever see Mo without them? He's like Rick Ross. <laughs> Yeah. I don't see him with this I'm like a rapper. I'm like a rapper. You do look like a rapper. So how did you guys meet? Social well, media stuff? Really through Jack, right? I'm uh, saying that's how I come. Jack is the one who told side me Side talk, Jack? No, no, no. Jack, millennial. Jack and Max. Was oh, one. yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. One of the, some guy I was working with for some brand deals and stuff, he, he connected me with Mo, and then we couldn't make a video happen the first time I was out of here in New York trying to do some collabs. Yeah. Oh. Then the second time I came back, Mo had, had blown up since then, too, and then we, we went to Spumoni. And yeah, we made a video there. That 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 video, uh, that video went crazy. Yeah, it, it was hilarious. It was a good video. How, like, what do you think of L and B being? An it's all right. I mean, it's like you can only like how, you can only get so much when it comes to you know just just some good dough and some sauce, mm -hmm. a little yeah. bit of cheese. Being that that's one of the places a lot of people say is the best pizza in New mm -hmm. York. Mm -hmm. Would you think it's overrated or? I gotta have more pizza in New York. You know, I really, I don't, I haven't been around there that much. Plus, it's just such a different type of slice. You know what I mean? It's like, can I say something? You know what I think is interesting to me, being a native New Yorker? Like, I think people OD on like pizza. Like, like I understand the rest of America sweating pizza. Like, I'm a big pizza, but in New York, it's like it's pizza. At least that's my mentality. Like, I wouldn't. I get it that the rest of America it's a big deal. You know what I mean? To have a good slice because their pizza sucks. But when coming from New York, like I don't make a big deal over pizza. Like if a pizza's all right, it's all right. I mean, I know a lot of good pizzerias. You know what I'm saying? I heard yeah. it used to be like a lot better back in the day. Like, yeah, but it's you know what it is. Also, I'm gonna tell you what it is. It's 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 Bensonhurst basically. It's Gravesend Bensonhurst. Huh. It's just like a nostalgic place for people. Right, right. You know right, what I mean? Right, like right, people right. remember going there as a kid with their right, parents, right. going to get spumoni after the slice, <laughs> hanging out outside because it's got a big area with benches. So, no? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a good. summer spot. It's a it's summer a, yeah, summer 100%. Spot. Like, it's good. Like, there's no doubt. You know what I mean? Like, I don't I don't have enough knowledge on pizza in New York to make a comparison. So, I can't even, like, I can't even say that, you know? I, like, the Spumoni's. Let's go through the top pizzerias in New York. Let's do it. Shit, then I'm Where out. Where have you been? Then I'm out of here. I haven't been anywhere, bro. You never went to anything? No. Your friend's the biggest cause? food critic in New York yeah, he well, hasn't brought you? Let's, let's write a list. Let's write a list. Let's get to it. I think my list would be different than a lot of people. But I, I think... What's your list, list Ma? So here's the deal. I'll put Lucali's first, but I don't. That's because you love Mark. No, no. Yeah, you, you, see you, it is. Is. you can't put bias in there. That's just, just because, bias. just because he gives you a table. Bias. Bias. I'll tell you what. If Lucali's gives right. me and Rocco a table, I'll put him on the list. Till then, no, I'm gonna tell you what it is. It's not that I bought. I'm gonna tell you what it is. <laughs> it is. No, it isn't. I'm gonna tell you what it is. That's not the New York pizza I grew up on. See, when you grew up in pizza in New York, you grew up on Famica chairs, fountain soda. A slice of pizza, like it was a a certain look to a pizza pizzeria, like that's a New York slice to me. 
Lucali's to me is almost like a Neapolitan type of pizza. Okay. How I would look at it. Somehow, these Neapolitan type of pies infringed on what a New York slice is in the last six, seven years. And now all of a sudden, people are putting like gourmet pizza up against a Luigi's, which is like a, I think they got Swiss. categories almost in that sense. Yeah. So I because you that's get what separate. I'm trying to say, like, like Napolitano yeah, pizza. Bro, like all, all I know so. is Napolitano pizza. Luke Cali's yeah. pizza, his mozzarella, and shit, what he puts into that slice, it's got to be. You know, he's all top notch, qual- top quality places. When we were kids, you know, you could have a local pizzeria. He's not going to go buy that mozzarella. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. He's not. He's trying to make money. Okay, you get what I'm saying. Yeah, Fair yeah, enough, right? Yeah, I understand. Luigi's to me as an old school slice for me. I think is one of the best. Luigi's Park. So I always say that. I love it. That guy cares. Like that, you go there, he's making the pizza. He buys all the products for that pizza. You know what I mean? It's it's old school. It's like that. What, what, what do you, what do you, when you think of old school pizza, you don't think Zeppelin's? Even Joe's Pizza, too. Joe's Pizza is like an old school slice. That's where Spider-Man was. Okay, okay. So okay. Joe's Pizza is an old school slice. Yeah, that's an old school New York slice. Yeah. That's the most classic New York slice, I think. Cool, that's, I gotta go, I gotta go have that. You yeah. guys have New York slices in Charlotte or no? <sighs> barely, bro. Barely. It's on Napolitano style. I mean, my, my father's got a pizzeria, so yeah. like if I'm having pizza, it's Napolitano pizza. You know, it's That's just what I'm trying to say. I don't my favorite pizza is fucking margarita, margarita pizza. You know what I mean? Literally, like yeah. I gotta be honest, he's a lot more Italian than you would think on social me- from what I've seen on social. Right, media. I mean, but it's it's just because the fact that like you know, like I'm, I'm from North Carolina. You know what I mean? If I if I grew up in New York. I would have a lot more New York Italian culture in me. I don't. You think you'd be little Mo if you were born here? <laughs> I'd be little no, little Mo. Hard to be. Most people like me are dead or in jail. <laughs> That's a fact. It's either you like little Mo or you... dead or in jail. Yeah, you can't walk too far in these shoes, Mo. You hurt your feet. In the scops. The scops. What but... the the biggest comment? I mean, I, I think we could all agree on this is um, on social media people saying you're not Italian. Bro, we gotta we gotta bring like some justice to this subject. You know what I mean? We gotta I because think, I, I think that people are just try to taunt people. No, no, I get it. You know, I'm not gonna go against why people would say that I'm not Italian because like right now, look, I'm talking like this. You know what I mean? I'm talking like I'm not talking like this in the yeah. video. I thought that's how you really talk. Right, You're right, not right. talking like Mo. You know? And what's crazy to me is the fact that like you guys are from New York and you believe the fact that I did that I talk like that, which is crazy because I'm like to me, I'm like I, I thought you were upplaying it though. Right, right. Which, which, which people do. Like yeah, even yeah. Sally. I was just with Sally. Sally upplays it a little bit. You know yeah, what I mean? I I'm do. like, I'm like, bro. You, everyone does. So I it's do. Like, I know. We know. You yeah, can't. but everybody. Nah, does. but Mo, we all know. Mo, Mo, when he's in Mo mode, he's Mo. Like right, right. When but that's not, but that's what you got to so, do. You know. So it's not upplaying. You have two personalities. I got two personalities. Yeah, bro, but I'm even Mo. you know, doesn't matter where you're from. You got, when you got a camera on you, you got to uplay. No, because we won't. No. It's not even about camera. It's just when he's in, like, right now. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. I get that. This, I get is, Mo, that. this is Mo mode. Yeah. And yeah. he goes to me, you can't talk about business when I'm in Mo mode. Because he gets bananas. <laughs> yeah, I get amped up. My whole thing is, like, my whole, for me, for me, like, I do, like, even when we did, we filmed, yes, oh, was it yesterday we filmed with the, the shoot with Vance? Mm-hmm. Like, sad, I had to yeah, be, well, I told people, like, don't talk to me right now. <laughs> I'm going in Momo. Like, I do that. Like, you got to stay away from me because I got to keep all those how you doings inside. Because they, they got to come oh, out. Because it's business. No, because they're loud and they hurt your throat. How you doing? What do you think? It's easy? So if I do six, seven how you doings, they start sounding like a broken fucking issue. You, know yeah, you got a limited amount of bitches nice. for video? Like, you try and keep it like a four or five? No, it used to be like, too much and then now I'm like fuck I said it once then people in the comments would be like where's it at you know what I mean why aren't you saying it and I'm like chill but at least I'll say it at the end but like bro that's that shit you know it, it gets a little repetitive you know what I think doesn't get old how you doing how you, doing? you know it's so funny so many people want to remind me where it came from like oh it's a guy from friends and I don't give a fuck fuck that like, to me it's, it's Mo I, to I, me it comes I from Lil Mo shirts, bro. Mo, Mo does say the best how you doing in America 100% does, my so, how you doing is distinct yeah. I'll be in the middle of making a video. I didn't invent it, like, <laughs> but I'm, I don't care. Like, it ain't you can't copyright or trademark how you doing because I tried. I mean, it. <laughs> no, I know you can. You can. You could do it no. on a shirt. No, it's yours. To me, it's yours. Yeah. I Anytime know. I say it in a video, bro, I'm like, got his head fucking. I know. No, I can't. I can't help it, bro. You already had a walk in sideways. I'm the king of saying people bit off of me. Like they know. They'll tell right, you. Here we go. Like I can <laughs> watch anybody's video and see. Where I influence them. You do influence a lot, a lot of the younger kids. A lot bro. of young kids. I can see it because there's words and shit that That's we That's very up. frightening, by the way. But it's true. You seen that one kid, the one you used to drop the yeah, comment, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, I, I that, tagged that you. That was it. funny. That <laughs> kid's like He wants to be just like ball. you, bro. No, but he stole a lot of the kid Giganti, Giganti shit, too. Giganti, yeah, yeah, yeah. But Giganti pretty much 
But you could sperm. even say he took some she from you, She gave my sperm. How you doing? Vince? Yeah, you know, you know Vince. Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. He's a good kid. But I'm saying he did steal a lot of my shit. But... Your sayings, <laughs> your sayings, not your shit. He changed them. He changed them. Hey, is that what bro, he wants? Is that what just, he want to do? What bro, he want to be? It's yeah. fucking contagious as fuck. I'm in the middle of making videos. I gotta go through and cut out me going salad. I'm like, that's Kush. And then I'm like, how you doing? I'm like, yeah. that's Mo. Kush like, is the best part because Kush is Kush. Don't give a fuck if you can't if he took your lines up. Like Kush, he loves no, what he want to do. No. He loves it. Yeah, he's taking it by storm. Wait, what the? He loves. He tells me, "Fuck yeah. you, I'm using it." Yeah, <laughs> use my shit. Yeah. You know, I, I use his shit. You know, I say yeah. shit. Yeah. Since I we're mean, talking about uh, since we're talking about Kuj, we were just in Miami for Art Basel, and there's like paparazzi waiting outside Carbone. <laughs> <laughs> and it's Kuj and my uh, boy the Kuj was in Miami we, yeah, was we, in Miami we, for our bus yeah it was no me, way it was, me, it was, was it was a bunch of us and my boy right here the artist from Italy so we're like closing Carbone down like we're the last ones in there they're so mad at us because we were like in a private room for hours like the waves kept coming like come on, come on. Like, they're like are you guys all good like, oh, yeah hold on hold on <laughs> so I hope you gave a nice tip long story short we're the last ones leaving and my boy from Italy, like they were like paparazzi was following him, pictures, pictures. And then Kuj comes, they're like, Kuj, who's winning the World Cup? He's like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Yo, that clip went crazy on TikTok. <laughs> that was awesome. And people were like, this fake, he hired fake paparazzi. No way. And I was like, Yo, was man, funny. people think I'm a laborer. <laughs> like somebody what? just dropped what? a comment one day that they work to be in the labor union. But you, you are and a laborer. I mean, you work construction. Not a no, dude, I ran shit. Oh, I don't be. <laughs> what are you crazy? All right, when I say laborer, I, was, I mean that you work construction. But yeah, but it's not a laborer. Not against laborers. I wasn't a laborer, but man, people are like, oh, look, you got in the union. <coughs> you get water in this fucking place. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> yo, uh, yo, for you, you can pass. Call for a you give you water, bro. <laughs> yo, you haven't stopped talking as soon as you get the mic. No, no. I gotta give you the doctor. Yo, I, bro, QCP Mo, came here Mo for is night. like the Italian Burt Kreischer. <laughs> he really is. Yeah. Who is Burt Kreischer? Burt Kreischer's, Kreischer's a comedian. He's, he's funny. I don't know who is. Well, now, you know, I, Tom, says, now I'm, I'm doing stand up now. Yeah. I, I love it. <laughs> I'm I love it. <laughs> no, it's great. All right, Mo's alive, thank God. Yeah, I was dying. <laughs> a little bit of water, he's back. Mo, what do you think about when people say you're not Italian? I don't really give a fuck. Because my thing is, like, I'm not, and, and I think I'm like this, maybe I'm wrong. I don't play the Italian-American, I, like, I don't do all the things with the Nona, with the wig on, and it's not my thing. Mm -hmm. So real Italians from Italy hate me. But whatever. When I'm in Italy, I act the same exact way. When I went to Italy, I was the same way. I just threw a couple of fucking curse words at them. Got get on. I throw shit at them. Bro, no way they don't think that shit's funny. I know what I'm trying to say is like, they. I'll be honest with you, I probably get treated better in Italy than most of the people that have comments for me. I go over there, it's like Don status. Do they, they come pick me up for the airport. You? Yeah, I, I, I eat fucking like a king. Well, I like don't know a, where you are in Italy. <coughs> watch. Come with me to Italy. Well, Don Rosa. <laughs> Bro, what Italians are going to do that? The Italians love your me. Your family's from Ishka, right? Mm -hmm. Is it? Do they do well financially there? Not your family. I'm saying Ishka in general. The people that live there, you're saying? No. <laughs> you think they, they go, go, they go pay pay You want me to tell you a real Italian story? <laughs> well, no. I mean, maybe Capri, but like, you know, when Ishka, I went no. Italy, when I went to Italy, the town where my mother's from, <coughs> it's called uh, Fontana Rosa. He knows about it. People in this neighborhood know about it. You don't probably know about it. It's by Avellino. When I got oh, my, town, I got family from Avellino. Yeah, but it's by Avellino. Yeah, it's Avellino. It's a small problem. town in Provincia. Yeah. The Avellino. And I'm walking around. People come come to me. They knew who my family was just from my voice. Oh, wow. Oh, really? Which, yeah, they would tell me my family for 100 years of Jack and Owens. I would have never guessed. Yeah, they knew. They go back to the 1800s. They're famous for the running their mouth. You know what a Jack and Owens is? No. Yeah, it's a fucking... Someone that talks a lot. Yeah. Fucking blind in mouth. Wow. And my father's Sicilian. And I went to the towns where my family's from. You know what I mean? Like, I... I'm Italian American, but no, I think I think this is like an important subject. I mean, the 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 following from for you guys is a lot of people that understand the culture of like yeah. New York Italian or they culture. Or they think they do, <laughs> or they think they do. Yeah. But like outside of the people that understand, like it's pretty important to know that like it's its own culture. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. New York Italian culture is its own culture. I had yes. to, I had to figure that shit out myself too because I didn't know about it at all. I was making fun of it to start my shit. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I was like, what the fuck is this? Even like, though we don't they... claim Jersey. If you said that New Jersey, New York it would was... say Mo go crazy. Yeah, yeah no, no, I mean, no, it was it was more of just like whatever. It was general. But but like, like it's it's something that you got to understand. See, you know Jersey I mean? Italians got their own culture too. 
Right. The what's, older, the, <clears throat> what's the difference between a New York Italian and a New York I'm going to tell you, Italian? it's very simple. They got techno in their blood. These guys fucking... <laughs> <clears throat> no, I'm serious. We didn't grow up like that. You didn't fist pump? Like fist pumping. We fucking baseball band. <laughs> it's different. No, I'm going to be honest with you. They got... This is the way I look at it. Like, to me, Jersey's like... Got their own culture, the, the Jersey Shore, that that Shore thing with the spike there and all that shit. We didn't do none of that. We did that too, bro. How much I do you think the Jersey Shore like show like impacted Jersey as a whole? Year? Yeah, a I lot, think it got impacted. Lot, right? They had two mega things that fucked their heads up for life. Tony Soprano, the Sopranos, <laughs> and the Jersey Shore. They were mixed between the Jersey Shore and the Sopranos. They're all fucked up. If you're under forty and you're from Jersey, I typically don't get along with you. The older guys from Jersey, I have a lot of friends from Jersey. You know, and they they're like us. But that fucked them all up. But where'd your inspiration from the Jersey videos come from, bro? I, I like I didn't even watch the Jersey Shore. Like my my sisters watched it, but like I didn't watch it. I don't know what the fuck happened. Like you were fist pumping? Of course I was. Were bro. you really? Everybody. Nah, was. I was never a fist pumping. Bro, before before Jersey Shore, it was growing up Gotti. So they had the they had the, the tape up. But that's New York, right? Yeah, but they're, they're from but around. like I'm saying, that's what started the Guido trend. I like, want to know how he going. knew about Guidos, though. Yeah, like, what inspired yeah, that's like, what your first you... video? Was it Jersey Shore? Or... Bro, no idea. Just, like, my sisters were watching it, and, like, that was it. Like, it just kind of sparked. Like, one day, I just threw on the wife beater, the chain, and just was like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, bro, if, 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 like, we, if, we, if you, like, put in the video, like, if, you, if we watched it right now, it would take me a minute to get to it. But, like, it's so different than now. So different. Like, it was obnoxious. I was literally like, what's up? It's John from the Jersey Shore. And today, I'm I remember, making I remember that. Like, I remember that. Bro, it was crazy. Uh-huh. And like, oh, so thank God I figured it out over bro, time. they would have put the- me in the Jersey Shore, I would have fucking cracked three of them. <laughs> nah, bro, I like, those I guys, like those guys were juiced the fuck Paul up. I think cool. Vinny's, like Vinny's Vinny. my like guy. Vinny Vinny's too. my guy. Vinny's like, a new, like, more like how I. Well, Vinny's, Vinny's only real zip zip. Yeah. Like, I would like, love to make a video with one of those guys. Yeah, I've so been in the apartment I built. Because I just seen him do something where he took a guy into his apartment. Hey, yo, no, I saw he, uh, how much you pay for rent? He's yeah, like, I, I built that apartment. Yeah? Yeah, I'm sure I recognize the cabinets. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> you think I'm kidding you? I'm dead serious. No, they have the same cabinets everywhere. No, those are specific. <laughs> I know, I can show you a picture in my phone of his cabinets before they were installed. You should you should text him and say, I don't know him. Uh, all right. You know him. I guarantee I know which building he's in. I'll, I'll, send, I'll send him this clip. I love how this is our first time Fun, getting... He could probably get more for an apartment that Mo built the Wait, has Mo, have you ever been on the pod? Yeah, yeah. yeah oh, okay, okay. So, like I was saying, it's funny. I once or twice. I think, I think one time, Mo, we did it, and he, like, wanted me to gut the whole episode. No. Like, my wife didn't like it. And no. He sent me, like, 3,000 edits. It was like it was like a major film. I thought it was Scorsese. I don't remember you don't remember that? that? No. I right, leave it now. Don't leave it. Rock, how many, how many edits? Bro, don't get me started with this. But guy. that was pre me letting everybody copy me. That was like when it first started. That So I had a lot of edits because I felt like I was offending people and shit. Now I just put my hands in the air. Let them Bro, my, 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 my favorite Mo video to this date is just you when you were walking by the street and the, the one, the, you're like, what the fuck you doing? And then the car goes by. And then you're like, hey! Oh, like that was the most, balls. it was just the most, yeah, the most classic video, like, video of all time. Classic. I love that shit. That video went viral. Yeah, oh yeah. <clears throat> no, from there, I just, I couldn't stop watching your videos, bro. One one day, that ass, I, I watched probably like 40 of Mo's videos when I was laying in bed. God bless and, Like you. during the day, during the day. <laughs> you haven't watched I fell years, asleep, right? bro. I took a nap. I, I, I fell asleep right after that. I closed my phone and fell asleep. My whole entire dream, I was with Mo. Come on. <laughs> swear to God. Yeah. Swear to God. I lived, I lived the whole thing because I, like, it's, it was just so unique. I was like, Since we're talking about some like time creators. <laughs> Rock, you're fucked up, Rock. One more word out of you, you won't grow an inch. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well talk. Since, since, since um, you know, we're, we're talking that you don't mind people copying you now. And... Because uh, QVC is here, as you call <laughs> QVC. <laughs> what are some of your favorite Italian uh, content creators? Shit. I mean, bro, Kuj, Kuj is just like... the, Kuj say, is the best. He's, Kuj, Kuj is, is the best. best. Um, I haven't met Vincent, but like we we FaceTimed a few times. They were funny. Yeah, Vincent's Back cool. in the day, like me, me uh, you know, Matt... Um, What's his last name? Pit, Pit, Petito, Pit, yeah, Petito. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Joey. Like back in the day, I, me, so me. You've been around that long? Yeah. Long? So, so we all were like 
the only ones, uh, Polo Boy. Yeah. It was me, Polo Boy, Joey, Matt. We were like the only like yeah, were the Italians on yeah, TikTok. Yeah. We were competing, bro. Like it would be like a mil, 1.1, 1.2. We were all bouncing back and forth. Polo Boys took the lead. Then I was like, I'm back. You know what I mean? Like we were fucking climbing up this ranks together and like there was nobody else doing it, bro. There were like 50 creators that were like popping back in the day. And like that was it. It was like 50 to 100 people. Mm -hmm. I remember sure. I had more followers than million. Charlie D'Amelio. And then oh, really? the, I remember waking up one day and she had like fucking 10 mil she in like a week. She the renegade real quick. Yeah. <laughs> that was it. Th that's it. But uh, I don't, I th I don't know who one, else. Bro, right? Charlie D'Amelio, you discovered her? I'm going to put her on. <laughs> yeah. Because you got to get 10% of that one. No, I don't take percentages. I just make them all make favors. <laughs> I have favors everywhere. Yeah. Who else though? I don't I know. I, I, who else? Not D'Amelio. I didn't start up. Any other any other Italians? I, I, I like I, I like Rocco the comic. Oh, yeah. I think I don't know very relatable. Know you know Rocco the comic? Yeah, oh, he, he knows who he is. I yeah. think so. Yeah. Oh, wow. like, like, oh he, no 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 wait, that is Italian videos. Yeah. Hey, oh, Ra, is, that? is that what it was? Yeah, yeah. He, has his, he, he talks to him and his dad. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I like Rocco. I like Nikki Cass. Yeah, hundred. I follow both of them. Um, but Rocco, nobody like the thing is, is like you have to be so fucking Italian to understand Rocco's videos. Yeah, yeah. because I'm that's sitting why, there. That's like, why I like it. We, we I can understand it. like a good like seventy percent like straight up in Italian. You know, like but I can you know, understand things most. Don't work out and it's to funny. be a translator. They yeah. good money for translators. Yeah. <laughs> what made you think of that, Mo? I don't know. I was just thinking you definitely speak Italian better than all of the rest of them. Yeah. He speaks better. Than I don't. You know? yeah, Bro, does. let me tell you, like if. If you're out, if, if you're a New York Italian and like people keep talking shit to you, like learn Italian and no one can say shit. Did you ever think about? Did you ever think about running your page with um in in Italian like all your shit? You know what I mean? No, nah, no. Nah, because I, I was watching something on that guy, Mr. Beast. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, he does. He does a channel and in he every said language. That he does it in every language, and it made him like that's yeah, yeah, that yeah. was the next level. But he's like, bro. Yeah, but that's oh, next, why, that's why next level shit. Like he's the number one in the world. Yeah, he's bro. the biggest. So you could be number hundred. Who number cares? one. <laughs> number hundred. Who cares? <laughs> he's got growing like hundred million growing subscribers. Growing up Polish, coming to. <laughs> growing up Ishka soon. <laughs> yeah, got, no, be, you know, growing up Mo in a couple years. Growing up Mo is fire. I might steal that. I want to be on growing up Betch. Wait, I I what what is Mo? No. Yeah. No. Because oh, no. Right. Good. But like. But like. Mo you know, like a. It's I, like an the old first term. Like a lot of guys from Brooklyn used to use it back in the day. Like you just call somebody a mo. Yeah, it's what's like up, a mo? Short, what's up, mo? It's short right. for I, I. I. For me, it's short for Momo. Like a Momo is like you're stupid. You Wait, know? What's your What's your name? My real name's Mark. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, we have so many like, exclusives today. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Mark, what the which fuck? is nothing like a mo. But you know what it is? I'll tell you what it is. I think. My mother was, I don't know where she got the name, she, All My Children or something. One of these fucking shows she used to watch, she got the name. But nobody ever called me by my name, ever. Like, I never really got called Mark in my whole life. I always had a nickname. But same with me, John Luca. Yeah. Nobody knows how yeah, to but say it. John Luca, you sound like you're fucking. Yeah, but bro, Charlotte, North Carolina, John Luca, there's no G-I-A-N-L-U-C-A. -A. Nobody can say that shit. Yeah. So what do people call you? Bro, so I had fucking twenty different nicknames. John, Gian, yeah, the, like, well, like Gian, a teacher. Like, Gian, people say G Gian Luca at the best. That's the best it'll get. Gian Luca, Gian you definitely Luca. had Gian like Luca. your teachers. The older she wanted, they wanted to. Bro, I think I was going through the. I was getting onto no? the airplane. Do you remember what John the, Luca? They were dreaming about him. Some crazy yeah, yeah. shit, bro. I was getting on the airplane. She read it. I could she see went, that though. She went like 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 Giuseppe or something, and I was like, "Did you what? even read that shit?" <laughs> Like, what the it fuck? looked like when you came from Ellis Island. They just made <laughs> shit up. Bro, I got like Luca, Puka, Jin, John. It ended up going from Puka to P. My nickname was P, bro. P. That's crazy. And then you don't even have a P. Bro, and then, and then QCP. And now everyone in LA calls me Q. I'm Q in, in Los Angeles. That's kind of fire. It's crazy. What's it's just like so distant. LA? Like it? LA is the funny. It's the weirdest Where place in LA on planet Earth. I live in Sherman Oaks. Who the I live, fuck is fire. that? Bro, I live in the most like That's suburban. That's a competitive Ventimans cake. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck that means. <laughs> Sherman no, Oaks. No, I live. Like fucking cookies. I live like me. <laughs> it does it does? I live. I live with. I live with Bryce Hall. If you know that yeah. name. Yeah. This other dude, uh, Curly Fuck. He's really cool. They're they're cool boys. We got a house together. We got like this nice house in a nice neighborhood in the middle of L.A. But L.A. being there for two two and a half three years, it's fucking crazy because like the culture is like exactly how people think it is. Mm -hmm. But like it's truly is it's a, really is a city of opportunities. If you're a smart guy and you go into that city, you're coming out on top. Mm -hmm. And if you go in there and like, you know, everyone says you get caught up in the in the business and all this shit, and like you get you fall down. But like if you're partying on the weekdays in LA, like 
you're going down. You know what I mean? Like, that's how it goes. But the people there, like, you get some cool people for sure. But like, That's what it is. Everybody's getting lit during the week, right? Yeah, but, like, bro, how these, people, I these people go and, like, they, they, I don't know how the fuck they make rent. I don't know how the fuck they find another another month in their in their wow. life. You know what I mean? Where that's I'm, like, crazy. I'm going everybody, up. Everybody in L.A. is doing something big. Yeah, but no, that's the thing. So, like, they, you think they're doing something big. They're well, sucking yeah, someone's dick around the corner. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then well, you're that's just doing like, something big in some people's eyes. <laughs> is that what they do? I don't know, bro. But that's... that's well, I was like, I might move there. <laughs> no, no yeah. you... You don't, it, it confuses you too because like, I'm like, your content's not moving, your content's going down. I haven't seen you go up a follower in, in, in six months, a year. Well, and people I've, say that to you? No, I'm seeing, you know, I see it. You know what okay, I mean? Okay. I see it. I'm like, bro, I've, I've known these, I've known a lot of people for a long time in LA and very, very few of us see each other in public and, or, and go, we dap each other up and we go, really? congrats. No, like, yeah, as in like, bro, no, I'm friends with a bunch of people. You know, I'm, fake, I'm, fake no, love, no, I'm, I'm saying more of like, it's very rare that I bump into somebody that I'm like, like, congrats, we're still here. You know what I mean? Oh, like, we're still moving up. Yeah. Like, I, 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 haven't, I haven't slowed down, like, realistically, yeah. but like, everyone around I'm gonna me. I'm going to give I'm you like, an example of an LA conversation. Yo, what's up, bro? Bro, how you dap up? How's everything? Yo, how's the, how's the page doing? Good? Pretty much, yeah. bro. Yeah. It'll be like, "How you been, bro? How you been?" Like, yeah. I haven't seen you. I haven't seen you in so long, and yeah. I and I go, "Yeah, like, I I'm, I'm doing I'm doing sandwiches. I'm doing well. Like, yeah, I'm selling yeah. mad sandwiches. <laughs> like, literally, probably more than views. And like, then they're I like, know. I haven't eaten a sandwich in six weeks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then, LA. Yo, uh, you want to link up later this week, bro? Exactly. It's it's uh, always it's always just like let's I, I let's can't, link, I can't let's Saturday collab. because I got this big HBO thing, bro. Uh, but for me, being there for so long, like. I'm at the point where like people will say some shit like we should do a video and I'm like that's all right you know what I mean like no like all right, straight what? up because I'm like if if it makes sense for both of us let's do it right. but like so it's it's want to collab literally like you have dude no I had idea. a couple of Hollywood Mo have you ever people. asked anybody to collab is that the term you would no, use? no I only person I ever told owed me one was Kush. <laughs> yeah. owed you one Bro, be careful what you say here why bro you remember that first video with French that he took that when Mo first got posted by Barstool. Right, yeah. bro. You must have sent us about forty-five DMs. What did he say, bro? Post this, post this. Oh, so you want some clout for it? <laughs> <laughs> you I said, don't care. Have you ever asked for collab? Oh, that's different. No, oh, no, but he didn't ask the collab though. He asked the post. Collab is like a spit, like let's oh, okay. collab. Well, okay. there's levels of social media, right? When you first start social media, this you is think, a, this is a good topic. Okay, right here. This is you a good topic. think that the way to do it. Because I didn't know I was figuring out. Cold call. Go. Cold it's call. just to be like, send it to people who have more followers than you and right. be like, yo, do the right thing. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> when you get to the point where people do it to you, you realize how annoying it is. Right. right. I didn't know. So right. I was like, yo, post right, it. I'll right. give you the benefit of the doubt. I'm, right. I'm telling you So the what's truth. the right approach? What's the right approach? The right approach is to make yourself hot. Man. And then, and then, and then people will come to you asking Bro, for it's, shit. If, if you're at like a lower point in your, in your like social media like career, your engagement compared to somebody else... Unless you're, like, if your content, like, if it works really, really well, you'll lock that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. If they're, like, I really like you or you meet them in person, they like your content, they know you have potential, they'll do the collab. But, like, if you're just, if you're struggling or, like, you're starting out, like, you got to focus on yourself. You got to get, you got to get up there at least a little bit. And you got to work your way up, collab with people in your own, in your own, yeah. in your own area yeah. until you both get up there. Because, I don't like, collab much. Have you, I mean, can you name any Bro, collabing, collab collabing is, is the greatest thing to do on the See, internet. See, I don't collab. Bro, this week, I, 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 hope, I hope to, to lock in at least 10 videos while I'm in Collabing is where it's this all about, right? Tomorrow. Bro, yeah, like I gotta stop fucking because collab. every t if you do <laughs> want to collab, <laughs> <laughs> want to collab, send a couple of dollars. I, I don't really collab. You collab for the bag, but bro. no, look look what happens when you do, bro. Me and your me and your video, six seven million views on TikTok, maybe yeah. more. Yeah. A ton on Instagram, a ton on YouTube. Everybody fucking We're gonna loved collab it. After this. I, I want to do I want to do something funny. I want to do something funny uh -huh. because you're a little older. I want you to give Q some advice on social media. I don't have no and then, fucking no, advice. Give him some advice. I don't know, like. No, I, 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 like I, my my month. number one That'd thing that my number one thing that goes over and over in my head all the time from social media is, I always regret sh like breaking bread with certain people. Yeah, like I'm I'm one of those guys. Like to me, that's like a ritual. Yeah, like, if I eat with you, what's said doesn't have to be spoken. If I'm sitting, I'm eating with you and on camera. That means that you've been vouched for. You're a good guy. Yeah, whatever. But I do have some people. I look back that were like in my video and shit. I'm like, I hate that fucking rat scumbag, you know? <laughs> it happens, yeah. It's a fine line. It happens. It, happens. it, ha it happens to everybody. Yeah. But what I'm saying is like, I just feel like because it's just imprinted in time, like that shit's there forever. 
Like I, I don't know. I just careful. Oh, who, careful what you do. Yeah, like care, who you careful, who you careful, do things you with. with. I I think I, I agree. Know. I I, agree. I, I, I don't collab. A, most of my stuff is paid gigs. Yeah. So it's like I. That's why I don't collab a lot. Yeah. Because if I can't upsell with you in it, then it's like you're probably not gonna make you the know, video. You know, you know the value of what you compose. Yeah, but I'm gonna start collabing more. Like you know what I mean? Fuck that. We got the you know, but here. in a in a way you. No, not really. I mean, you're doing it with restaurants. You're not really. It's not really a collab unless they have a following. But but it's they want you to collab with the restaurant, right? <laughs> right. Yeah, that doesn't count. That doesn't count. I, don't, doesn't count. I can't but, collab. Q, Q, let's let's have Bro, some fun. I've, let's I've have done, some fun. I've done like I've done so many fucking collabs. I've done I've collabed with literally like yeah, you done more, people. Uh, yeah. Bro, I collab with with Addison Ray's mom. Twenty five million views. Yeah. You know what I mean? Ten million views on Instagram. Like collab. Uh, collab gotta, with, I'm taking. I'm collab with Young time. Gravy. Thirty million views. Collab with Nick DiGiovanni. Yeah, Twenty five yeah. times. Yeah. Every time I've it blows up. I've seen you guys up. a lot of times, bro. Collab with Kooch. Blew up. Every time you do a collab, so, for some reason you get all their following. And yeah, but all their but following also, gets bro, mutual it's, benefit. It's though. the fucking. It's the. It's the. Uh, I want to fucking cook something with you. <laughs> no, no, Mo. We're cooking this week. We're cooking I'm this serious. Week. I want to prep some bees. My I'll Airbnb is. What are you gonna make? Double ghoul and mozzarella. I cut the cucumbers. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, cut the cucumbers. You cut the hey. cucumbers. The zucchini. Just drool, huh? Just drool. Just drool. Yeah, I know fucking fuck. cucumbers. No, right, me and Mo are gonna. Me and Mo are gonna have the the the, the, the zucchini out. We're gonna hey, the, <laughs> Let's have some fun. Give Mo some because you're the big. You have okay, okay. The most followers yeah, of all. Yeah, yeah. I'm fucking. Give him some advice to help him grow, and you can even give us advice to make it to make this fun. If you got if you got that energy that you do ready to go into one of these these paid gigs, you got to go back to that organic shit too. You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like everything you do is paid. Yeah. So it, it gets to a point where like you you can and that you still do well with that though. But like you got to get back to that organic content too. Yeah, I know. Hundred percent. Because people, tell, tell him people, I have three kids, Mo. What do you want me to? I got, do? You got to eat, <laughs> Mo. Mo, you're you're good. You're a good father. It's true. It's true. I mean, I I know that. Even myself, with the kids, like, you know, even with the kids, the shit we the shit you do. Yo, with his your daughter. son's a star. His really? son Margo's a star. You got to incorporate that. that. You know yeah. what I mean? If if they want to, what if I do a cooking show? I you fuck should. Yeah, you you got to give him credit though. No, no, nobody's got to give me credit. Nobody's got to give me credit. Manjo with Mo. Manjo with Mo. I love that. You better make that Instagram before this comes out. I have it already. Bro, let me tell you guys something funny about <laughs> about like somebody somebody that tries stealing my content. There was this one dude, this like model dude, who uh, he like back I don't know maybe a year and a half, two years ago when I first started blowing up with the cooking videos, like when I when I started taking off when Betch came to be and everything. And this dude had his he had a, he had the wife beater on because I didn't do the apron for quite a while. I was just wearing the wife beater and yeah. a chain. He had the white beater on. He was in his backyard, like beautiful backyard. Family's got a nice house. He's cooking uh, pizza in the brick oven. He's making pasta, and he's just straight janking my shit. Like literally, like like it was crazy. I, I couldn't, I couldn't guy? believe it. He doesn't. Well, yeah. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, so he made he made these he made two videos, and he, instead of saying like bitch or whatever, he he was saying mofos, bro, calling everyone mofos. And I was That's like, so cr- you mofos. No, yeah, you mofos. That's, so cool. That's the and most like, LA thing I've ever heard, bro. And, it's and not he's, mofos. He's totally like straight LA. But like he, he's got he's his last name his name's Corrado. He's like he's fucking Italian. Whatever doesn't matter. He better be but, paying you for this plug right now, bro. So what happened? What happened is he posted that video. I, do, I, I woke up or, uh, sometime at night, bro. I was like, the fuck is this shit? I saw the video. I duetted it. I put my shit on. I put my wife beater in my chain. And I was just going like this. What the fuck is this guy doing? You know what I mean? What the fuck? This guy's video had like half a million likes on his cooking video. And I was like, I was pissed. I was like, no way he's going to fucking like, like go up like that. My video got a million likes of me saying, fuck you. <laughs> Literally. So my, and that my, helped him probably too. No. So my people went in there and they said, get this guy off the internet. You know what I mean? Put him in the bathroom. No, yeah. Literally like, like, what is he doing taking your content? What is he doing? Right? He made one more video. My people were still there. He never made a cooking video ever again. Wow. You sound wow. him. He's savage, bro. bro he just he, basically said like But it's fine. Like, bro, he's, he's, job, a, he's, he's a super successful uh, model. You know what I mean? Like he still makes little cooking videos. He makes them like, like shirtless and shit. And, like makes a little PB&J and like. And that's he it. He sticks but his hammer in the P and J. <laughs> you know what the trick but, is. But you know, I'm like, you do well, but you like, gotta put but it, stay, you gotta put it in a mat- lane, bro. under stay the mattress. The and then you lean on it. Fucking innovative. But that's the thing, bro. You know, people will if 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 people rock with your shit, they're not gonna let anybody like steal your shit. You know what I mean? I don't but know. You, I think I don't got no more fucking fans. I need Mo. to step it up. No, Mo, but that's why you gotta do more organic content. Yeah, I know. They, I know. If they open up their Instagram and you're like how we doing? We're back over here and then here and then. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, gotta, 
you got to be doing some more stuff. Just you walking down the street. And That's what I told them. You know what I mean? You got to keep it authentic. Something that doesn't take any effort for you. You know, yeah, those yeah, were yeah. your most viral moments. Like, yeah. I'm Imagine Ranger. I have, like, indict me, I have a few yeah. like, and that'll help you get more engagement for those paid gigs that you'll have to get. You'll get paid more for. I know. I know. When I just grab the phone and just say something wild. Bro, that's that how that's how my so that's how I got where I was was I I turned the I started recording and I just went I just did me and that shit would and you know what I did I'd post I'd post twenty videos in a day and then the next day I'd look and it'd say if, if that if it didn't hit over hundred k views at the time I'd delete it I'd be like oh, you would hey, archive what? it I, I, no I, I, yeah I'd, I'd private them I'd Re- just be like I'd not? be like that's it what's that repost or just in no no that's it that's it I just ended there on to the next one yeah that's what I gotta do. Yeah, bro, spam a bunch of videos because look, the brands. I got my pen and paper out, Mo. Yeah, bro, this is, this is like a history. This is like, yo, this a is. I'm telling you right now, mark my words. I'm, little Mo's going to the next level real soon. Uh, bro, I don't know what you, it is, but I'm gonna steal all your ideas. So you're gonna be big, you're gonna be you're gonna be big Mo then? <laughs> nah, I still little Mo, man. No, Mo, you. you I think if he graduates, you're, you're, it goes to medium Mo. T- the second <laughs> you hit a million, boy, it's give medium me Mo. advice. Give me advice, big Mo. What's no, up? like, look at this guy. First off, second off, Mo, like, like. Personally, you're one of my favorite creators on the internet. Thank you, brother. Like, my mom loves your content. Yeah. Like, I have not stopped saying, how you <laughs> doing? Blow up, bro. <laughs> oh, no, I mean, blow bro, up. you need it. Like, you need it because it's true. <laughs> like, I'm not, I'm not going to hesitate when I say it. I'm a legend. You are a In fucking legend. Okay. <laughs> Listen. But, like, but, Mo, like, you know. Uh, you, Listen, no, people you know like it. me don't go on the internet. Bro, you, that's what it is. I think I, I open the door for a lot of people like me, but the people that think they like me are fat and overweight. I'm like, yo, who's this fat <laughs> fuck trying to be like me? Like, bro, you you're washed up. Something funny I gotta say that Kuz told me. Kuz told me that when you did a comedy show out in, out in L.A., yeah. that it was the whole group of you guys in the front and like watching Mo. You guys were all laughing. No one else was getting it. Yeah, like no, and no, one, no one thought it was funny. I told and the then, guy with the fighting news, I was gonna hit him with a shovel. Yeah. You bomb? <laughs> I then, no, no, but that, but like, but that's the thing is like the people in LA like might not might not get the humor. You know I what can't I mean? bomb I'm like curious, that. What do you what do your boys like? What does Bryce and Curly Fuck think of Lil Mo? Well, I don't even know if they know. I don't. Uh, know, I don't. I was gonna say. I wonder how like those LA Bryce? guys think of. <laughs> <laughs> who's Bryce? Oh, well, bro, if, if for what it's worth, Mo doesn't know you either. No, exactly, <laughs> bro. Suspect. But that's it's a whole different it's a whole different level, bro. Like Mo, you're on like. You some, know who's my favorite person on Instagram right now? Britt Barbie. Who's the who's oh, that? that fucking that the one? She's like the biggest show shop of Nova shop. Of, what the fuck is that? Oh, shit? It's the one that did the period <laughs> app. Period <laughs> isn't that ice yeah, spice? Yeah. She app, follows me. The girl, the girl, period, the girl? Yeah. period, uh, period, uh, period, uh, period. Uh, I don't know. She, yeah, that's my no. homegirl. That, that was cool for gonna, a minute. Bro. I was gonna go out to one of her videos. Bro, she got the glizzy. You, you gotta hit her up. Let's, let's go out. Let's go out. I talked to her. I like her. Well, Mo, here's the thing. That stupid song I kick out of my head. Bro. This bag for Shopa Nova. What did she say? Oh, you know what I'm talking about, right? So you're the reason why people like that are famous. Though. I love I that. Shit. Mo, Mo, you, Sorry, know what, you know what I think? I, you know what I think you need? Uh-huh. I think you need to take a little microphone, walk around, and talk to people, bro. Yeah. And take and take clips. Well, like, side, like side talk. I like side that talk. other kid. It was that other kid with the green... With the green do rig. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. That's pretty good. Did that. yeah. I like those other kids, those kids that are horrible rappers. The war- The ones that pop out of the TV. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those kids are the best. You never see them? Uh, I uh-huh. all of them people I mentioned follow me and I follow them back. Like they they're viral. They are viral though. That girl's made viral with the lizard. Uh, they, I mean Mo, people liked you on side talk. Like the, the side talk, like uh, the replies were good. You know, people love you on side talk, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's like a real Bro, but that's why that's why you got you got to use that to your advantage. You know what I mean? Like you got something unique going for you. Like you got to run it up. See, my thing is this: like, are we supposed to be talking open and honest here? Should I lie a little? You know, bit? I oh, mean, I'll be honest. Yeah. Whatever you want. I my thing is this: like, I don't do the typical like plotting that social media people do to rise. My thing is like, I'm feeding, I'm putting food on the table, so I'm forced to do content because I have paid gigs. So it's like if I don't want to film, I got to get out because I have a commitment to make. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. No, you have a life. I have a life. You have a life. No, no, but this is how I make my money now. Right. So it's like, so my content, I'm always going to have content. I put main content out. Like, I put content out. Like, I probably post every day. You know what I mean? Or every other day at minimum. Right. So what I'm saying is, it's like, I I kind of veered away from like what you're saying. Like, yo, I got to do this. You know, I got to collab more. I have to get yeah, no, it's not, it's no, out. you know, it's something but to I'm throw in the. As soon as I leave, I'm doing everything you said. <laughs> no, bro, I it's, am. it's something. It's something to I'm keep good. in mind because, like, if you if you if you run into that time, you might as well take advantage of that Thanks. time. You know How what I mean? How you doing? How you doing? I think I think Mo 
is the real life Joe Pesci. Like Joe Pesci was alive, like his character is he's dead? No, no, I'm saying like the character, the characters he played in Goodfellas and Casino. If he if he was a real person, it would be you. Yo, I think personally, I'll, I'll lay this out serious. I think all the people that are in those movies and shit or trying to be in those movies will cock block me. They don't want me in the movie. Because you're too viral. No, it's not that. I'll just make them look fake. <laughs> Come look. <laughs> I'm going to cut They'll that part out. All right. <laughs> what? So one, another thing I wanted to ask you, CP, yeah, was what, what's the biggest difference between LA and New York to you? Bro, authenticity. Oh, like, I'm oh sorry. my God. LA, um, you've been to New York a bunch of times. I have. All right. I have. So then I've you been can in New say, York. I was going to say. No, I've been to New York at least like 15 times, 20 times in my life. Yeah, I grew I mean, my mom's from Brooklyn. My mom's from Bay Ridge, yeah. Brooklyn. My mom, my mom grew up in uh, Connecticut, uh, then Brooklyn. She's been all over. But, but um, there's something about New York. You know, I'd say hopefully in a year, I got a lot of money coming in. I'm, I'm doing well and I'm going to do even better and I'm going to get a place in New York. And I'll be fine. Yeah. I want to hang like, around you, mom. Bro, actually, you know what? You know what? Like, here's, here's the thing. So, like, <laughs> I might, bro. Like honestly, like I'm, I'm. My lease is up in, in uh, towards the end of this this upcoming year, in uh, August, uh, twenty twenty one, twenty twenty three. Shit, um, I got no more. I got no reason to be in L A. Like I tell myself, oh, you could I'll, do what you do there here, bro. I could do what I do there here way better. Yeah, you know what I mean. I like more I, people. More I really love to this work city, here, bro. No? Yeah, and like I. Uh, I model too. I'm with Next New York. I get okay. all my work from Next New York. I can make more, way more money if I'm out here. You know, they can set more shit up for me. I like there's maybe something... you and Kush get an apartment together. <laughs> shit, up fucking. Because Kush is the Bryce Hall in New York. Yeah, yeah. 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 Really no, bro. I was the fucking Bryce Hall. <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell is this Bryce Hall no, guy? Don't even worry can we about put it, Kush. Up on the screen? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Don't we'll even put, worry we'll about it. Put him up in this clip right here. here. Yeah, put some crazy. I, I put some like put some goofy shit. Should we show? Actually, yo, look. If you could grab that, just look up. Bryce Hall. YouTube. Oh, this is going to be good. This, this is going to be, be good. Natural, I want to yeah. see what he looks like. I probably know him. I'm just not going to put definitely know him, together. bro. Come on. Now, I, Mo, I don't know Mo, what's Mo, in my head, bro. Mo acts like you don't know. Mo like, if I explain, like, yo, you know the guy that lives on Skillman Street? You got to tell me His sister's no, Rosemary. No, if you tell me what he does, I'll know. What does he, he do? Does it, basically, does it all. This social media. Yeah, you know, he, he's, he, he, uh. He was dating, uh. He started, yeah, he dated Addison Ray. No, but he started on social media. Listen, like, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't even know who Addison Ray is. That's fine. That's fine. Right, yeah. Like I don't. I don't. I don't she's even like know. Second, um, she's like the James. second biggest like, creator ever. No, no, you got Bryce James. Cause not LeBron. So, but Mo, Mo, this I'm gonna kid. know him when I see him because I surf the internet. Like uh, you know, you I surf see the for, internet. Yes, it's cool. That's Mo. the most that's, unsurfing I've ever heard. Well, I, I, stri- I, 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 I use my no, finger and I go like, surf. Don't say surf, bro. Let, all right, let me give you the quick rundown though. I haven't heard someone say surf. Let me let me give you the quick rundown. That's him. Hold on, before we, before we get right into it, I'll give you the rundown. Oh, he's viral though. So the yeah. kid, I know who that no, he kid used, is. He used to he used to be like popping way more, but he's still no. So he he started social so now media. I got bombs with this kid because I don't know who he is. But when he was 14 years old, he started doing live streams. Right, he's one of those kids that like e boy, fuck boy. He started all that shit. So he's been a fuck boy until like six months ago on the internet. Then I think he started until last weekend, bro. Pretty much. That's him. Pretty much. So play. I mean, like. See, I don't know see, who he is. Look up his dancing. Like, I dance. did the Jeff show. Look you up, see me look on up the Jeff Bryce show? Hall dance because he's known for like his his uh, his trend. Bro, like, no wait. Look up look up Bryce Hall cringe or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> is he gonna get tight you, bro? Oh, no, and he bo- no. he boxed too. I think right. Yeah, he fought. Uh, no, no, he he owns up to everything, bro. I cried on New Year. No, he used to, bro. He used to be he, like he still is. Like he's got twenty seven. So why do you think that I'm making tw- believe that I didn't know who Bryce Hall was? Be honest, bro. He's one of them. Yeah, I'm yeah. Gonna issue an honest, honest question. Oh, these are the kind do of this, does. okay. But you, I gotta disclaim. This is my roommate. He doesn't do this shit anymore. But this is what he used to do. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. Oh God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Bryce. This is what he does. Not anymore. Is that Not a guy who left his brother? Or something? Not anymore. They're all. They all used to live in the same house, bro. No, no. no but these kids, house. these kids, he made don't so come much up on my money. feet. No, of course not, bro. It's it's a different crowd. I'm, if I'm not wrong, he started his trend, no? Of like, um... He started a lot the of pop dancing. Yeah. <laughs> what? I, even I watched, don't want to offend the kid. I haven't seen any of this shit, bro. <laughs> Rock, if this is the type of shit you're watching... No, that's not what I'm watching. Bro, bro. bro but, if, but if you were to see, like, if I were to show you a video of, like, shit that he makes now, like, it's it's uh, he makes good shit now. He makes funny videos. He like, was in one of these, too, doing the same thing. Me? Yeah, but he does. <laughs> <laughs> when, when he comes on my shoes sometimes, I go like that. I don't want to, yeah, he's got the, he's got the shirt off. Oh, shit. on my story, on my story. I don't want to be next to my wife. She goes, what the fuck you watching over there? Why, you look, why are you looking at some titties? Yeah, it looks like porn. <laughs> no, but but I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna roast my he, he's he's a completely different man now. He literally used he even bro he did a bunch of shrooms, went on a podcast and was like 
Shout out to Shroom. He's like, he's like, I've never been the same. You know what I mean? He's like, bro, I'm like, it's cool. And everybody says it's the new Bryce. The new a, lot, Bryce. a lot of people say that. That once you do Shrooms, you never go back. Yeah, bro. I thank never, God. I, because, I, I you know. Forget about it. <laughs> this is the most one of the most hectic episodes we've ever done. We lost half our audio. Um, but before we go, Yo, this honestly, is the growing I didn't up. Know he was Rock, so I'm sorry. No, Wait, it doesn't matter. Bro. This, this is fucking stupid. I just wanted because I know in your stupid. head you think I'm lying. No, no, it's fine. No, we, I don't know. You don't apologize. Lie. Lie. All we're lie. doing is feeding Bryce more. You know what I mean? So we got to move on. Bryce, Bryce, Bryce. Let me check. <laughs> Send me a couple of Let's dollars. bring up some other fucking. Let's settle down. Let's settle down. We got. We got to do. We got to do this clip. So, Growing Up Italian Podcast, we're here with two guys that love pasta. So, we're going to do overrated, underrated, perfectly rated. Hey! Oh! How you done? Pasta sauce edition. Absolutely. Man. Carbonara. <sighs> Carbonara. I say perfectly rated, but so rare to have it right. Bro, mm -hmm. to make the perfect carbonara is like, it's like... It's the most hit or miss shit of all time. Even so even myself, make it with, the egg, with the egg, even myself, saying. yeah, bro. But every single time I make it, it tastes different. But that t that one time when it hits right, it's so good. But so many times you go to a restaurant, you're like, bro, this is this. Why do you put heavy cream in it? Like a lot of, a lot of places put heavy cream, man. That's sad, and... bro. A classic carbonara is is pecorino. If you want it, you can do pecorino and parmigiano if you want a little more flavor. You can mix guanciale and pancetta if you want a little more flavor. But it's it's guanciale pecorino. The best eggs you can find, just the yolks, black pepper, salt, that's it. You whisk it up with the pasta water, you get a nice consistency. You turn off the flame, you mix it with the pasta, mm -hmm. you get it all, you get it all Fucking going. Fucking guy, Chef Boy RD, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, this guy, bro, you bro. see this how you really can cook. No, I but made scrambled eggs trust today, me. forget about it. Trust me, bro. Made it sound like what it was. No, but but like straight up, the carbonara is it's 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 perfectly rated when it's made right, but goddamn people can fuck it up. All right, what do you think? Oh, 100%. Everything what he said. I agree, 1,000%. So perfectly rated? It, yeah, it's very hard for people to... Perfectly make. rated, but some people will I disagree because this is the thing about pasta is that like it's so hard. Bro, you got to put so much heart and soul, and as crazy as it sounds, you got to put so much love into that shit mm -hmm. that like, if not, it's it's scratched. You know what I mean? Yeah. So if, if you don't like carbonara, it's because you're having it at the wrong place. You got to have somebody's known not cook it for you. Yeah, yeah. facts. What do you think, Mo? Carbonara. Too much work. I heard him fucking saying all that shit. I'm saying, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, but to eat. To eat. Oh, this dish no, no, no. takes 12 it's minutes. It's good. It's good. It's good. I've eaten it. It's this good. dish takes as long as it takes to cook no, pasta. No, no, no. Listen, but I'm like, I'm like a peasant. I don't do like... Let me make you a carbonara like and see if we food. change it. I'm there you go. That's a, that's a collab. Well, yeah, let's carbonara. make carbonara. Yeah, let's do it. I'm, I like I like pastina, bro. Like, you know, I'm like pastina. that. I like, I like, like easy shit. It's not flavorful, know? though. It's just... I love pastina. Well, a little, a little butter, pastina. a little egg. It's when you feel half dead, you have that. I know. That's when you get comb from the club, bro. I like simple <laughs> shit, bro. All right, for next one... I don't know how to... All right, next. We gotta go. Next we gotta one, next one, next one. Alfredo sauce. I mean, bro, like... Isn't that like a... Like a it's like a half a carbonara, no? Bro, bro, like... It's with carbonara, like... It's like fake carbonara. Yeah, like, that's what it is. Like no? people, like I feel people outside of Italian culture, they use like cream. I like it. And depends the carbonara. on who like. See, I think about my and stomach I'll... when I eat, what I'm trying to do to my so stomach. So rate it, rate That's it like first. a way to. If you know you're gonna go out drinking, you know you could get that in there, get a little weight in there, it soaks up everything. Is that nuts? Bro, to I me, think like that. The only reason why you know the chicken, the fettuccine Alfredo, yeah, it tastes good. It's got butter and heavy cream and Parmesan. You know what I mean? But extremely overrated because that shit's gonna fuck you up for two days. It's yeah. funny, when, when Italians from the other side like make fun of Italian-American food, the first thing you say is... Uh, well, the thing in Italy, like, in Italy, bro, like, very few regions in Italy use heavy cream in dishes. Like, the, there's, the, there's like the two rules, bro. No chicken in your pasta ever. If you put chicken in your pasta, the Italians literally, yeah. like, they go berserk. Yep. And... And the heavy cream. They hate it. That's why I say all Italian Americans are overweight because yeah, they all bro, stuff the cream, the, the butter, yeah. bro, olive they don't like oil. You mix stuff on a plate either. You got to keep yeah, things simple. Like the spaghetti and meatballs. They, they don't like when they see like if you put different food on a the plate, they get one a new plate for everything, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know. I remember when I was. So I mean, there, the the, the, the Alfredo. You know, I get it, but I cannot. Did you give an answer though? Did you say, you say overrated, overrated okay, because yeah, of what it does to you, bro? Like the flavor's good, but like, bro, it's too much. What do you think, Rock? Yeah, it's also mad overrated. I mean, every American, I feel like that's their pa favorite pasta. Is it? It, if but you me, don't, if you no, don't know pasta, they like the way it sounds. They make it like they sound mad cool. Italian. No, with bro, it. yeah, they're like I'll get a chicken Alfredo. You know, <laughs> they sound like 
They make it sound if like If you don't good. know pasta, you like Alfredo. Yeah. Only like like the girl, one. like girls are like, I make the best Alfredo to get ragu. Oh no, the vodka sauce. I love I like the vodka, vodka sauce. sauce. <laughs> All right, so since he said vodka sauce, vodka sauce. Bro, it's another American dish. It's cream. It's cream. Like, you don't, bro, there's no pen. Actually, it tastes made good with chinchillas. Of sauce. course it does. It tastes good. The shit tastes good, but like. It does. But like, like I want to have that now when we go down. No, it is good. We're gonna good. order a couple two trees. How you doing? Yeah, the chicken color that you made. You have a chicken color. You do with vodka sauce here. That's better. our vodka sauce. We put like chunks of prosciutto like that. Nice, so nice not everybody nice. does that. For Bro, me, it's hard to rate. It's hard to play this game yeah, because yeah. like like these dishes. Everybody taste, makes it different. These dishes taste good. Like you like full type pasta. Yeah, it's a I shape. Follow? It's a shape. It's nice. Wait, what do you I mean? like the gava deal. Cavatelli. Yeah, all right, all right. Next, deal. next sauce. Wait, the best, though. No? Oh yeah, did, did you give on. an answer about vodka sauce? I say sauce? it wrong, he said, right? He said overrated. I say cavatelli. Wow. Wow. Bro, it's just like such That's a. This is so thing. hard. This is so hard to play. Like, bro, it tastes great. You know what I mean? But like, it's hard to. Let's it's do hard a couple words. It. You pronounce it. You pronounce it. Then I pronounce it. I will do that after this. That'd be funny. That'd go viral. So oh, good, good, yeah, I'll say good. I'll say the vodka sauce. I'll do it way over the over the uh, Alfredo any day, just because like you don't need as much cream. You just you know add a little bit of cream and keep it keep it creamy. That's it. Last one, Bolognese. Perfectly rated by a hundred miles. If again you make it right, bro. There's so many things to make that thing wrong. You know what I mean. That's the unofficial Sunday sauce yeah. to me. Bologna. Literally, yeah, People make it look like sloppy the, joe's. The Sunday yeah, ragu. It's, it's, it's too much. Too much. Or the, you do a lot of those reaction videos when yeah, they make yeah. the Managan shit and you abuse them. I like What's Managan? I always like your videos. Yeah, yeah. You don't like mine back. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm, he's a human track record. He keeps track of all the He has a spreadsheet like, at home like QCP nah, didn't like a video for yeah, a week. Yeah, 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 yeah. He always likes my shit. Yeah? Yeah, he does. I, 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 Genuinely. I, but I don't know. I Thousands of likes more. and you still know. More. I don't track he's, get, he's getting 10,000 likes on these videos and he knows exactly who's liking them. Yeah. It, it, no, I, I look to see because I want to show respect, you know. Vaco <laughs> sees in there once in a while, you know. Show love over here, once man. While, you know? Know? Yeah. But you know what it is? You got to remind him. <laughs> Did you want to do a too? couple of funny Bro, words? the pasta. Yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry. Yeah, I, you know, I, I got to say the, 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 rating, the rating game for pasta is so hard for me because yeah. I am such a sucker for pasta. Like so you need one more. You do three. You only did two. You did, four. did three. You did four. You, did four. Yeah. you only asked me twice. Because <laughs> you just got to say, no, I like pastina. Yeah, who says that, bro? I do like pastina. What pasta is pastina? I just what like you it. Are, it you I, like I don't understand. I like, I, 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 look, I go eat in a lot of places. And my thing is, I feel like when you have a nostalgic attachment to things... Like, I remember, you know, being sick and having pastina. Bro, me kid. too. Like, my mom always made like pastina. Little things, you know, that I remember. Like, I might, my know she always makes peppers a lot, you know? Fried peppers? Yeah, the green ones. Yeah. The, they call them long hots in Jersey or something? Yeah. What do we call them? Call hot peppers. Yeah, hot peppers, yeah. You put put all them out. I love it. And then I like, like bread? the thin sliced, nice thin sliced bread. How about fazil? Fazil. The hard bread. Fuz this shit, okay. Oh, frazelle, frazelle. I, I call frazelle. Frazelle. Bro, this shit fucks frazelle. with me so I hard. I just shit. He's like, you got know the frazelle, bro. You know what I'm talking about? When I first heard Galamar, I lost my shit. I was like, there's no way that Galamar is calamari. And I, and, but I want to know where I, I came like from. I don't like saying the word because I don't say it good. You okay, know? so how do you say it? Galama. I cut no, it no, you're right. You're right. Galama. Like, you know? That's that's right. I don't it's, really say it good. It's heavy Nabli Don dialect. So it, but but it's like almost like yeah, it's almost like the C translated. Like right. that's right. Capicola. Capagol. Capagol. The Cavatelli. Cavatelli. We cut everything off. And they cut the last letter. Yeah, but yeah, but like Cavatelli, to Cavadiel. You know what I mean? Like more like I could call my dad, bro. I could call my dad right now and have him say these things in a true Napolitano accent. We could hear a big difference. Yeah, no, I do my shit whatever sounds. Yeah, exactly. No, but I'm saying it's different. It's different New York Italian. You know. I got I got another game we could play. No, was not really a game, but we're gonna go around the table here. Give me your favorite pasta dish. I just said it. Well, oh, you, what you're to go order at a restaurant? First oh, time at a restaurant, we'll yeah, 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 do that way. My to go a lot of time is I get the um, I'll get um, oh shit, orecchiette with the broccoli rub. Oh come and, on, and that's a good one. That's a good because one. Because sausage makes it taste good. Like I don't Fuck. you love the sausage? Huh? I love the sausage. Sausage. No, but I eat that a lot. Yeah, I get. I know you do. I know you do. I like that. You like the sausage, huh? All right. You know you used to like the sausage a lot. 
B, what's yours? I had a funny Mo, don't be too pen, honest. Penne vodka sauce would be like, if I never ate at the place, yeah. you know, and you're just going what's off. your go-to? What? What do you say? Penne, penne vodka. vodka. Penne vodka. Simple like a, or chicken parm. With... I didn't grow up with it. I no? didn't grow up with it. Yeah, no, not at all. But uh, but it's good. I make it, I've made it a lot recently. What about you? Hey, this guy thinks he's in Italy. Me? Well, he's going to get crazy. Bro, nah, you guys nah, probably, I don't know if you guys have this out here, but rigatoni alla butera. No. No? No, what's that? Yeah, it's, fancy um, it's got sausage. Mm-hmm. It's it's just rigatoni with it actually it's kind of like a pink sauce. It's got heavy cream. Oh, okay, it's got okay, tomato yeah, yeah. sauce. It's got green peas, um, and a uh, little red pepper flakes. Nice. That's Definitely it. It's, it's it's really good, bro. I could I promise you it'd be one of your favorite dishes. It's delicious. That's your go-to. It's my go-to. I grew up getting it all the time from my dad's restaurant. I get that. I, I was obsessed with osso buco. Yeah. yeah. Rigatoni alla butera, and um, and that's it. I've been going on eggplant kicks. What's your, uh, what's your go-to? Bro, Cavatelli Egg Bolognese, plant? bro. The best. That's the best. Cavatelli, Cavatelli's got a, it's got a, it's got such a, such a thing to Do you eat Cavatelli with spoon or for? Some people I do spoon. I didn't even think really? of that. Really? I, never I didn't even think that. of that. That's a good point. I guess you, either or. How about but, gnocchi? That's too heavy for me. That's yeah, just. That's gnocchi, same. gnocchi's Depends like. what you gotta do for the day. That, that's why I picked my pasta. Yeah. Gnocchi's all right. You know, I think it's a little overrated. Just because it's, it, I mean, it's, it's it's delicious, but I think it's just something about, there's just something about, like, it's its own thing, bro. I it's like, it's not even, ravioli. it's not even, it's not even ravioli. a pasta. Ravioli. 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 That's how I say it. I, that's how I always said it. I don't know, but how you, I don't say ravioli. <laughs> <laughs> you should, My though. fucking Italian is so, like, shot, right? Nah, Mo, let's good. teach you it's something good. today. What? Let's teach you something today. Yeah, what do you want to know? New section, new, new section of the podcast. Teaching Lil Mo Italian. That's good. That's a good idea. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Now, now, you, now you got to teach yourself. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Uh, you know how to say like, just like a just a just a simple fair, just please. a simple hi. How are you doing? Come on, stay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Ciao. Come on, stay. Ciao. Come on, stay. But you already know that, so we didn't Bene teach you anything. Uh, let's go out to eat. I don't know. How okay. To that's and, what we're gonna and teach. Andiamo a mangiare. How do you say it? Andiamo a mangiare. I say a mangi. <laughs> <laughs> that works too, though. That works too. Yamane. 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 That's how I was taught. I don't know. Yamane and mangiare. Something like that, I would say. <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. Yeah, but that's how I I know what I know, you know? Yeah, but you got to say it. You got to say it. Andiamo. I I, you know, I Come on, Mo. Try it. Try it. So no, but, but you did, this is why we're practicing I right do, now. T- t- you know, I, one thing, but one. on the down low, I do understand a lot. I'm sure, I'm sure. So, he understands so, every day. Let's yeah, have a conversation. Say, like, if you abuse me, I know, you know? I bump me too, in, me People too. do shit to me, ma. I bump into you in Naples. Let's have a conversation. I'm a real not <laughs> Why you? Is he Italian? Yeah, see. Si. <laughs> see, si. Did dove sei? Uh, which, where are you, where is, where is that mean? Where are you where from? from? Yeah, where are you from? Uh, Fontana Rose. And then I have. That was smooth. They don't know where vicine, it is. Vicine, vicine. Te piace l'Italia? Do I like Italy? Oh. Yes. No, you right. right. I don't know. I don't. This is a real well, conversation. I don't know how to speak Italian. Good. Si mi piace. Si mi piace. Mi piace. Eh? Che cosa ti piace? It's why you're here, right? No. no. What, what do you like about <laughs> it? What do you like here? Uh, the food. I would talk English. I don't have. <laughs> I'm not good like that. I put you on the spot. Uh, okay. No, it's all right. I don't care. I understand. A no, lot. you understand. That's what yeah. Mi piace. Mi piace la cucina. Right. Just like yeah. the the cooking. Yeah. The Yo, yeah. on, on that note, let's let's go get something to eat. I think yeah, it's that time. One hundred percent. And then we'll mangiare. And then we'll mangiare. Yeah, mangi. No, no, no. Give him a little. Uh, uh, uh. Nobody move. Nobody gets hurt. I gotta pee. I've been holding this in forever. <laughs> <laughs>